and we are recording again. Hello, welcome back to the Alexandrian Codex. I'm Alex, this is Stellaris. We are playing the Star Trek New Horizons mod as the United Federation of Planets. We are this gross bronze color and not our normal dignified blue color because we joined a federation with the Bajoran Second Republic. And as they were the coalition founders, they got to pick the color. Special project. Oh, okay, cool. Titanic life study success. After a period of research and study, the scientists on Fleck 2 have managed to make a breathtaking. Uh, make, make a break break through make a breathtaking and achieve limited communications with some of the titans while huge slow and difficult to talk to the titans are incredibly tough and strong some few have expressed a desire to join our military forces where they will undoubtedly be an incredible asset titanic beasts can now be recruited here isn't there a... yeah there's a limit you can only ever get three of these three at a time might as well build them all now because why not? I have our armed forces chilling out on Ada Serpentis Prime, which also has Titanic Life. The Titanic Life here, Technology however, discovered. was not so uh, cooperative and decided to wipe out our population at the time. Pericium Hole. Pericium Hole? Pericium mixed with Talganite is a light ceramic alloy that would make ideal... That would be ideal for our cavets, corvettes, and destroyers when speed is preferable to armor and integrity. Structural integrity, Nate. Not, not just integrity. We could get upgrade our star bases to level two. This would be very expensive, but quite cool. Arcology, ah, uh, mineral storage capacity, mineral size. This is the cheapest one. I'm not crazy about any of these, so let's go for that. You. Go forth and explore. Yeah. Our borders are pretty good. We could swoop in and take care of this, right? Yeah. Um, Walker. Yeah. Remember when I told you to do whatever? I lied. I want you to move here. And I want you to move here, and I want the first fleet. You're going back to upgrade. Fair enough. I don't have one you can upgrade here, damn. I want to take the first fleet and move them up here, wipe this out, wipe this out, incorporate Nusakan and Gemma, or Gemma, into our system, as well as Tau Corona Borealis and Heather Christ. Yeah. All those seem fairly lightly defended. It shouldn't be much of an issue. Yeah, even Sobek? I cannot Savic. I cannot read that. Construction complete. Da 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 da. Ada Crucius is done, and this will be the edge of our... Construction complete. <laughs> this will Technology be the edge. Discovered. As the Romulans have cut us off here in Iota Hydri and Balak. This is actually a very weird appendage for them to have done and not tried to close in Delta or Devilin, but whatever. Kudos to them. Anomaly on Harrington 1. In the Harrington system. A large amount of ship debris can be found in orbit around this planet, presumably the remnants of some sort of massive fleet action. Secondary plasmodyne relays are done. Tactical consoles could be cool. Wow, that is... That is a lot of weapons damage. Weapons range? Wow, that's pretty substantial. That's 25% range. You... I'm gonna go for the tactical console first. Hey, we can embrace a new tradition. I'm going for cultural exchange. Adopting this tradition reduces the cost of bringing new civilizations into the Federation to 75% of original cost. That doesn't seem substantial, but when you have this much to integrate, 
every reduction you get is nice. Uh, we could, we could be building trading ports on all of our planets to be getting the, what, like, point two influence that they give. It might not even be a bad idea. I hate it. It's, it's so tedious. But it could be the best way to integrate things quickly. Is by popping down a fuck ton. Yeah, point two. Point two for a cost of ten energy. <laughs> Just crazy. It might not be a terrible idea. In the long run, it might not be a terrible idea. So you are... Still going to build that starbase. Haven't even started yet. That's okay. Construction complete. Akamar, we are building here as well yeah these uh hostile systems are really the last ones we can start incorporating before we make the questionable leap to colonizing the center of the galaxy the galactic core signs of battle there's clear evidence that a massive space battle took place in the close orbit of harrington one at some point in the last five thousand years the surface on one side of the planet is pockmarked with craters from stray weapon blasts. Scans from the USS Von Braun have picked up several husks on the ground, hulks on the ground. Although these shipwrecks are in very poor condition, the fact that any remains at all after the damage they must have sustained is a testament to their advanced design. Nasir al Kaidi is preparing an expedition to sift through these derelict holes for any valuable technologies. Wait. Okay, yeah, then survey the system. True administration ascension process is at 72%. Just gonna keep going with low focus. We have our ecologies, which I'm not gonna use. Mm, masked stealth hull is in keeping with our stealth theme, even though they're not very good. Planetary shield generators are dope, but probably not gonna put to good use. Warp core fighters, carrier construction. Now nah, let's go for powered exoskeletons. We won't really need the army damage bonus right now, but it's the cheapest tech we can pick up. And that will give us new possibilities once we're done with that. So Fleck, why don't you go over to... Oh, Ada Serpentis and Fleck are right next to each other. Weird that all the giants ended up in one area. McDonald. I'm considering cutting down our number of construction ships pretty dramatically, because uh, this is overkill. Um, there are other ways to honor their memory. Who even was that? Oh, our Prime Minister. <laughs> ah, fuck him. Okay, we have someone here. Someone here. You're not doing anything, get deleted. You are here, not doing anything, get deleted. You are rendezvousing over here for a project to... Yeah, that's that's cool. Where are you at? What are you doing? Nothing? Delete. I think six will be enough. Yeah, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So I don't feel like I need to cut any more out right now. Those construction ships in that number will be useful for moving into here, but we're not we're not doing that yet. Still closing up all these little bubbles we have in our space. The Antican packs close their border. Oh no, how impactful. Ships upgraded. Hell yeah, ships upgraded. So the first fleet can start marshalling out to Zardin. Why don't we start with the Omega Sagisha? Sagi Sagita system as. There's alien vessels here we can take out. And too many colonies, too many colonies. What do we do? Beta Prime A? Beta Prime. Beta Prime's pretty big. 
total number of stuff in this sector is seven slots not very big Capitan star 24 even smaller officius 23 dx tankry 18 is this one i just found it yeah okay this is where we just landed yeah i don't want this one i will hand this one off to a sector in just a minute i'm going to make sure these have not been built inappropriately they have not all right dx tankery you are out of my hands can't street <laughs> i can't even get the name right that's how much i care you are going to tau city four goodbye well that's one more colonize let's look at our where is it planets expansion planner there it is is colonizable oh yeah these are horrible i'm not touching any of those What's our population breakdown looking like? So we have still primarily human, then Vulcan, Tellerite, Klingon. We have more Klingons than I expected. I guess it's just because they favor tropical planets and nobody else really does. Then Betazoids, Bajorans, Euridians. Euridians are doing really good for a late edition, but that's probably due to their Alpine preference. Denobulans. Binars, Boleans, still no Andorians. We have 16 Anar, but they are not Andorians. It's hell to attract these people off of their homeland because they're slow breeders and solitary. They have not filled up their home planet yet. Elora, we're starting to populate around. Ferengi, Duzarians, Sona, and Benzonites. Benzonites are next on my to-do list, I guess. If we could get more marshy planets, which we are not in possession of. Alright, dope. So, this is almost ready to be built. Maybe at the end of the month? Yeah, at the end of May here, we should be able to pop them out. Oh god. I wonder if this affects performance or my frame rate at all. It probably does. How much is on screen right now versus how much is on screen right now. It feels smoother, but I don't know. Having all this information up is helpful for me, so I want to keep it up. Necro Cloud Nebula, let's get these mining stations up and running get a traffic control station Altamid is habitable by the binar and the iridium now i want the binars to colonize it because as we were noticing the binars have a slightly lower population than the iridians they're weak and fleeting but they have synaptic processors which make them Converge to our governing ethics, which is very, very good in trying to get more influence out of our factions. The tile physics and engineering output is quite good. Eurigans get a bonus to all output, so that's a close call. Then they also get a bonus to society output, so that's a total of 25% output for society, which is really fucking good. They're great leaders. They would make a bad uh, overall leader and their consumer goods cost is a little high which I don't love so let's let's go for colonizing this with the binar just in the interest of keeping as much of every species as possible could I I suppose I could colonize this with Bajorans or Novans or Denobulans nah nah let's just find some binars and give them the planet Arctic? No. Alpine? Yeah, my boys. All right. This would benefit this, this, and this. So three. This would benefit two. This would benefit three. And be pretty clean. This would benefit three. This would benefit two. I'm going to go with this. Yeah, ultimate. Now, ultimate, we're going to have to make some pretty interesting changes to once that's colonized. Our admiral died. No. 
Yuri, my boy, you were, like, not that bad. We have a Denobulan and a Bullion. I don't think either of these are particularly long-lived, but that's okay. New Transcendentalists. You're religious? Yeah, you're spiritualist. I'd love to discourage people from joining this faction, as it's just gonna be unhappy with how secular we are. But, uh, it's it's fine. Hasegawa has been elected our Prime Minister. Helm in the Sky, it's okay, that's okay. But it means the Voyager is left without a captain. That position's gotta be filled. Uh, well, I say that, and then I got a doctor, so before we do that, let's, let's go to the interplanetary... or interstellar... The, the the medical exchange the interspecies yeah interspecies that's the word hello i have a doctor i want to give you give me influence please thank you fair trade okay now let's get a different leader give me a doctor it's not a doctor that's okay yolanda povron yolanda welcome to the uss voyager you're the captain now have at it. Mm -hmm. Still don't think we've had a... Uh, we have not had a Prime Minister who has not been human. That's another... Yep, science leader dead. The USS Von Braun lost her captain. I, I got excited. I thought this was a doctor. I'm like, hell yeah, you're you're not a doctor. Get out of here. Construction complete. <laughs> All right. Well, we're closed in on this side. I suppose I'm gonna have these two move up here, so we can start thinking about making inroads northward. It's a ways out. I don't want to think about it too hard right now, but long-term goals, right? You're Technology heading here. Discovered. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Geoengineering. Dope. Hawking Observatory. That's a lot of science, if we can make good use of it. Uh, the fleet command limit is a little late, but we could still put it to some good use. Let's go ahead and purchase our second fleet. It's costing a lot of minerals that I hate to say goodbye to, but getting a second fleet doubles our operational capacity. We can be doing more than one thing at a time, and really with an empire this big, we should be doing more than one thing at a time. Army damage, plus one. Cool. Private engineering contractors. Let us get mining stations for a third cheaper. That's a little late to be hugely impactful, as we've already colonized. Oh, I don't know. That's, uh, that's half. That'd be a quarter. That'd be an eighth. A sixteenth? We've colonized a sixteenth of the galaxy, maybe? Because, like, this would be half... This would be half of a half. This would be half of a half of a half. And this would be half of a half of a half of a half. So that's about the amount of space we have. So we have uh, maybe 16th in terms of area. Survey complete. One sixteenth of the galaxy. I don't know in terms of star density. I know this looks a lot more dense than it is up here. Technology and we have discovered. a lot crammed into like here. So maybe more than that. Maybe less. Who knows? Tactical consoles. I'm excited about those. New shield generators, pretty cool. Assault phasers, Mark II. Dedicated phaser turrets, Mark II. Mm. We're not using these, but I think they're really cool. Shield generator 3, pretty cool, but I'm not using any, so I guess dedicated phaser turret. What I am interested in is... Fuck, I can't use it. <laughs> I... Really? Isn't, um... Uh... 
Oh, it's down here. No? Where? Where the fuck? Excuse you. Tactical console. It's orange. Tactical console can be installed on our spaceship bridge. Weapons damage plus 15%. And uh, no, not here. Am I missing something? Tactical console. It's tactical station. No, 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 no. Ah, yeah, it's staring me right in the face. It's right there. Wow, that is a shame. I was very excited about that, but I really want that tracking and evasion chance, so never mind. We will not be putting that to use. Oh, wow, okay. If you turn details map mode on, it still lets you know when you haven't built everything in a system. That's pretty cool. I didn't realize it worked that way. Okay, I can live with that. I can definitely live with that. We're full up on energy credits. Can I put those to any use at all? Tile clear. Probably not, as none of these have any tiles to clear out. But you never know. Okay, there's some empty slots here. Let's let's figure out what to plop down in there. We have a lot. We're processing most of our raw dilithium, but we still have four or five. A lot to do. How's habitability looking here? Habitability is at best 90%. I don't want to make people substantially less happy. Mm, so let's not do that here then. I'm I'm so I'm so wary of ruining the happiness of our planets. Yeah, let's just boost energy production because especially with us building a second fleet and continuing to expand building more star bases seems prudent to do so. So no negative modifiers here. We have a 95% habitability. We're a little short on food. How's the happiness here? Why are you not completely happy? What's going on? You're spiritualist. Fuck you. I... Could you not? Could you just please not be spiritualist? So instead, we'll just... Put down power plants like we do. If the occasion comes to replace these power plants later on with something more interesting, I'll certainly do it, but that time has not yet arrived. What's the science output here? Yeah, looks like engineering. The Nebkaitos has nothing on it. Ah, I haven't upgraded this yet because there's not enough population here. I'll come back later. Well, no, we can, we can start doing the very simple buildings that'll just need upgrading later on. No problem with that. This is correct? Yeah. Initiating communications. Hello? Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, hey, is this a good offer? No, it's a terrible offer. It's a terrible offer. Great. Deneb Kaidos 3. Minor mandate fulfilled, and I really did not have to go out of my way at all to make this happen. Bunch more unity. It's a drop in the bucket, though. Construction complete. Technology discovered. Galactic ambitions. All right, our fleets can be a little bit bigger. Ah, self-assembling fleet. Ship upgrade cost reduced by 33%. Now, that's not a crazy amount. 33% of, you know, typical upgrade cost run. Like that last one was 600. I think the highest we've ever had was a few thousand, and we can generally shrug that off in a number of months. But, eh, whatever. It's a rare tech, and generally it's a good idea to grab rare techs when you see them, as it can be a very, very long time before they come back around. I'm going to keep going through and upgrading stuff. What's our output like here? I should go humanities, but 
No, I'm going engineering. Jesus. Oh, this is when we found the Delta Quadrant. Yep. It's been it's been 30 years since we found the Delta Quadrant, apparently. <laughs> hmm, okay. So this tile, resource biosculpting bacteria, we can actually build buildings to take advantage of that. Now, however, soil reclamation projects output a laughable amount of society research in comparison. This would increase our terraforming speed, which is something I really don't care about. Like, it'd be nice to have things terraform instantly, but who gives a fuck? So I'm going to ignore that deposit. I'm not going to take advantage of that deposit. Maybe on new planets I will, but on old ones I'm not gonna... I'm not going out of my way to avoid it. Initiating communications. It is? Construction. Okay, yeah, sure. No. The unstable tectonic plates of DX Cancery Prime has just violently shifted. Once again, reports on the damage to the colony are just starting to arrive. How bad is it? We'll find out in a year. It's... it's fine. It's fine. Just... The recent earthquake, which rocked our colony on DX Cancery Prime, has caused no damage, and, serendipitously, has uncovered a batch of useful minerals. I told you, it's fine! <laughs> I, of course, knew that there was nothing wrong. I was not just trying to give empty reassurances. All right, our fleet is finally in the system, so go over to Gemma and clear this shit out. First fleet. Oh, you know, I, <laughs> I made such a big deal about recruiting a general that I didn't consider in that recruiting a second fleet, we would not have the leader slot for a second admiral. Uh, luckily, the second fleet isn't seeing action quite yet, but that was a minor oversight on my part. I might be convinced, and probably should be convinced, to switch away from a destroyer-focused navy, but goddamn are they cool. The 51% dodge chance? Is substantially higher than anything patrol ships or patrol craft can have. Oh, hey, an another Anbo Jitsu game. Uh, Fatima Ibrahim, who is this? You feeling lucky? You gonna win? You gonna lose? I bet she's gonna lose because. Oh no, she won. She became adaptable. That's a good time to get that at level one. Yep, that's nice. Poor little crystalline entities are going to be wiped out. Did we take any substantial damage there? No, it looks like some superficial shield damage to the Dusseldorf. But that's it. I mean, we significantly out-tech and out-strength them, and outnumber them. As space travel becomes more commonplace, competing citizens often believe they can do things better and faster than each other. By outsourcing the creation of mining stations to these contractors, we can lower the overall cost outlay while still maintaining income. And I guess I'm doing this because it's a rare technology. Uh, we have no defense platforms, but that might change in the future. Especially now that our borders are becoming static on many fronts. Probably not so static on this front, but yeah. Might not hurt to dig in a little bit. Survey complete. Mm, ba -ba -ba. Construction complete. And system is cleared. Can have the USS Walker come in here and survey. The USS Jordan hang out and wait to build 
An outpost you don't even need to repair. Hell yeah. Oh wow. Our fleet capacity is now at the point where the second fleet can operate as a completely identical copy of the first fleet. Lacking, of course, a leader. And we'll just go ahead and fix that real quick. Uh, sublight speed, sublight speed, disengagement chance. I'm gonna go with the scout. Just for that 5% sublight speed. It doesn't seem like much, but seriously, when you have to cover this many systems to get anywhere, it adds up, and it adds up fast. Federation Council, let's review the Trill Administration's Ascension process. It's only 93%. I thought we'd see it at 100. Ah, uh, that's sad. Okay, low intensity negotiations. That's fine. That's It's fine. Hmm. We actually have enough influence sitting around that I could embrace one of these. Ah, uh, no, none of them are really what I'm looking for. So maybe not. I almost wish you could automate um, construction chips and just say, within our borders, build any mining station that isn't built. Within our borders, build any research station that isn't built, and they can fly around and do this micromanagey bullshit themselves. The reason these aren't built is because we can't exploit iridium or... Cormaline? 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 Yet? Self-assembling fleet, our medical scientists have been experimenting with nanotechnology for quite some time. In our studies of these robotic creatures, we think it's now possible to improve upon this tech at an engineering level as well. Now, our newly designed nanobots can use these new forms of nanites and apply it to our shipbuilding processes to save ourselves some of the cost that goes into upgrading our starships. I mean, you have matter replicators at this point, so it's a little weird that you would need nanomachines as well, but whatever. Core sector systems is probably a good choice to go with here. Clinical complexes, like I said, I'm not going to build. They're cool, but I'd have to replace them later, and I hate that micromanagement. Orbital prison. Unity's nice, and frankly, any unity we can get will be nice, but nah, 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 I don't love the upkeep. Same deal for this. Migration attraction. Migration attraction might not actually be that bad. Uh, whatever. Economic theory, law and order. Let's just go with the, the Galactic Administration so I can have one less planet under our incompetent sector AI. Or one less system, at least. Nothing too exciting in the Gamma system. A lot of Class D, C planetoids. Dead planets. Lots and lots of dead planets is what I'm saying. Discovered. What do we got? Better phaser turrets? Dope. Oh. Fuck. Yes. So, uh, Perkeum Reactors. A design that uses fast neutrons to sustain a fission reaction and consumes pergium, a radioactive element rich in fissionable materials that produces less radiotoxic nuclear waste and doesn't require a neutron moderator. This type of reactor uses helium as a coolant material readily available near class 1 type gas giants. Pergium on planets pisses off your population. Pergium on ships is really, really better than anything else. Power generation 110, whereas the power we are getting out of what we have now is also 110. Damn it, I remember it being better. Well, it also offers um, weapons damage in addition, so it's still an upgrade. A small upgrade, but by god, it's an upgrade. I'm gonna do one more point of damage at you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Da, da, da. Second fleet. What are we going to want to do with the second fleet? Now, I could set up a, another survey ship construction ship team. Really, I just need multiple construction ships hanging out over here. 
and next to other potential systems like these. Um, yeah, you two are in the right neighborhood. I ordered a couple up here. Is that right? Initiating communications. What? Didn't I? What? Did I delete them? Am I a bad man? No, they're still moving up here. They're in here. Yeah. Yeah, we're fine. Uh, you will give me a lot of energy for research. Detected. Sure, I can't even take the energy. <laughs> energy. So why not? Sensors have detected an object of indeterminable size in orbit of Miku One. Initiating communications. Who this? Nah. If Gemma ends up not having any deposits, it's gonna feel real, real petty for me to plant a starbase down here just because I don't want the, uh, Zinkethi? No, the Ferengi to get it. Is this war over yet? I... Are you still at war? You are still at war. How have the Tholians not wiped you out? The Tholians do have... Do have the fleet to do that. I guess the Starbase has really fucked up the Tholian fleet. Wait, the Binar Domains are at war with the Thoian Embassy. What? Wait, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, what? I thought you were just at war with the Wasepians. Oh, and the Binar Domains. Oh, you might be fucked. Okay, wow. I didn't realize the Binars were hard-stepping badasses cutting off the Tholians and taking them out. All right. Okay, cool. Uh, objects in space. After several hours of searching, science officer of the USS Santa Maria, I just saw USS Santa, that's why I started laughing, reports that they have located something on sensors and prepares a modulated anti-proton beam and proposes that a modulated anti-proton stream may be able to reveal more information. Captain Guo Oyoung approves and the anti-proton beam is fired at the coordinates from the main deflector array. Moments later, something appears on sensors. It appears to be a probe, though it's armed and powering weapons. Well, guess we're not coming back here for a while. Initiating communications. Nope. <laughs> It really does not take much to discourage me from coming to mess around in somebody's neighborhood. Mm. So I need a science ship. That is a science ship. Alright, dope. Why don't you go up here. And this fleet will go up here as well. We can start working on these while I wait on Technology this. Discovered. Galaxians have declared the Dominion their rival. You're close enough to each other? Oh, wow. I didn't realize the Talaxians and the Dominion were butting up against each other. You're way better than the Talaxians, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, so that was not a Talaxian. That was... You were not Talaxian. You are, um... Oh my god, they start out in here, they're the first antagonists in Star Trek Voyager. Mm, Kazon! Right here, Kazon. Alright, cool. Pergame reactors are done. They're exciting, not as exciting as I thought. I'm a little let down. Let's go after these extended shields. Upgrade the ship design, though. Uh, step one. Step in here, per game reactor, hell yeah. This gets downgraded back to that. Yeah, okay, save, dope. 
Oh, let's check out the weapons. Yeah, I can upgrade to Phaser Mark II, which means we're downgrading to a Grappler again. Because I'm not fucking with that. Cool. Better phasers will be useful. Not immediately, but, you know, eventually. Caraman have entered into a migration treaty with the Talaxians. I, I'm a little surprised that Dominion isn't taking off. Then again, I've never seen a non-player controlled Dominion really... Really do all that much. Alright, cheaper defense platforms, not very exciting. Damn, we are just rolling in rare technologies now. Repurpose civilian career ships. Strike craft damage and strike craft attack speed. It'll be useful if we ever get strike craft. We have them, we're just not using them because I'm using destroyer class ships rather than cruisers or battle cruisers. Cause dat dodge. I haven't touched the cruiser design at all. Patrol? I haven't touched this in a while. Can I? Can you not suck at dodging? Can I make you better at dodging? Nah. Nah, not really. I mean, I can pop down that. Evasion 50%. That's not nothing, but... It's also not great. Nah. Construction Go ahead and save that, but nah. Not that good. Establishing colony. Oh, that colony won't be won't be kept very long. Where's that? And that reminds me, uh, Deneb Kaitos 4 should be ready to you still don't have five pops. You are growing so slowly. Come on, Frangi. Make make babies faster. Beta Prime A, Beta Prime. Oop. It's a pity you can't just like click this little arrow and it'll automatically upgrade everything on the planet. The little arrow is nice to indicate that there is something to be upgraded, but help me, help me, help me out more, Stellaris. Automate yourself more. Okay, dope. Scientists leveled up. How long do you have until Gemma's done? Got to do Gemma 5, Gemma 7, then it looks about good. Discovered. So we'll get a tiny Initiate bit more science out of this system, but it's not looking like much else. Cargo bay, cargo bay could be quite good, just to reduce ship upkeep. Yeah, let's do long-term space habitation. You are willing to pay me for a research agreement. Didn't you rival me? What? That was a thing, right? I'm not misremembering this. The Rigelians rivaled me. And then... <laughs> They're pathetic. You're damn right you are. Construction complete. Wolland... Is this upgradable? No. It is not. Well, at least this will cover its own energy upkeep. Extended shields, not too excited about that. Mm, better physics labs. Yeah, should go with that. Rush things along. Now, our engineering's still behind, but it's a lot better than it was before we started specializing our um, universities. Still operating on tier one star bases. We could get tech to upgrade them. We did see the tech to upgrade them, and I'm not against it. But I, I did it because I recognize we're spending minerals at a rate that's gonna make it kind of hard to turn around and do that. I love that this is considered adjacent. Survey complete. Go go survey shit.
So we're going to grab Harrington and hopefully we'll be able to get a good foothold in the Galactic Core. The Shiliac are only going to get bigger and bigger in that direction, Survey. but it looks like uh, a few powers are going to start Initiating meeting up in here. You will pay me for communications. Didn't you do this already? I mean, yeah, I don't mind, but come on. You don't, you don't need to do that. All right, the Nausicans aren't a complete pushover in this game. They, uh, they're mostly pushover, but this isn't that bad. Klingons still haven't recovered the house of Osto. The the lack of a, a core, coring system, like core territory system in this game, makes it so that the Klingons probably don't feel like this was ever theirs in the first place. Excellent plan. That's a pity. Excellent plan. Your rulers look identical. Oh, because I clicked on two. Mev. Mev, yes. Two identical planets. Gamma. Give me Gamma. That means you can move over here. You can move on up here. Keep this shit moving along. Is it Gamma or Gemma? I would say Gamma, but I've heard it pronounced Gemma. It doesn't matter. Da -da 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 -da. Construction complete. Okay. So you're gonna go here, you're gonna go here, you're gonna go here, and we might actually lose a ship this time. Review the Trill administration, they are at 114%. Welcome aboard, Trill, to the United Federation of Planets. Yeah, um, oh. Yeah, you can migrate to Earth, huh? You have a vacancy? Yeah. Trill, our continent of preference, we'll have to try to colonize something with them. Trill are really cool in that they live a long time. They also have a high leadership level cap, and their experience gain is pretty fast. They're slow breeders, which isn't ideal, but it's okay. We now border the Bajorans. What? How? Where? Where do I border the Bajorans? Explain this. In that I have this... And this technically borders that? Game. <laughs> what? I mean, whatever. We're still in a week together. And Bajor's up next, then. Yeah. Okay. It would be nice to get other people into this federation, but I think because of Bajor's fanatic spiritualist ethics we're gonna have a hell of a time making that happen so i think we'll just have to hold off Ooh. yep more crystals getting blown the fuck up these are actually doing a much more substantial amount of damage to our shields if you look at the dusseldorf over here shields are way below half at this point Long-term space habitation. Really the thing I'm most excited about here is Cargo Bay to upgrade some of our ships with to lower their upkeep. The crew quarters and secondary command station don't do much for me. Building build speed 25%. Yeah, let's do that. That's pretty dope. Technology discovered. Again, this is rare, so we got it for that. <laughs> and another one. Advanced construction methods. Cheaper starbase cost and construction speed construction improvement. Complete. Very good. I wasn't feeling particularly moved to do that, but hey, nice. Oh, you want to invite the Zeppelite guilds into the Federation. The Zeppelite guilds are... Detected. Yeah, hold up, hold up. Zeppelite guilds are right here. Fuck yeah, let's get a my tree... My, my tration. Migration treaty, my dude. If we are to be in the same Federation... I also want to do a research agreement, because it's probably going to be a while. Unfortunately, that means the Bajorans are not going to be the first ones we go to integrate, as the Zeppelite guilds will be a lot faster. The USS Von Braun has 
there is an upcoming brief window of opportunity to retrieve scientific data from an abandoned research station on Amriz 2. Yeah, do it. Weird that there's an abandoned research station up here in a place we've never been before, but fucking get it. Alright, cool. That's done. Migration treaty accepted. That all accepted. Hells yes. And this is the last group. The Dusseldorf has started to take hull damage as its armor and shields have been depleted, but we probably won't lose a ship. Probably? Ah, uh, yeah, we're definitely not going to lose anything here. Very cool. Now you can go back to dock and upgrade. Hmm. Do I want you to heal? I probably want you to heal so you're still on station. Yeah. And construction ship. Just the cons... Sorry, the Jordan? Yeah, the Jordan. Build mining and research stations in Gamma. Gimme traffic control station. And that'll do. Whereas the Dawkins move all the way into there. Cool. Zeppelites being in the league is pretty nice. Yes. I'm amazed the Cardassians or Zenkethi haven't joined up with let's switch over to Survey. ah there's no coalition map mode right uh the weird coalition the some of the smaller powers over here formed ah well whatever it does not bother me in the least I'm, I'm a little terrified to see what taking Harrington does to our borders, because this is, is, it's contiguous-ish, with the exception of our weird Talon 4 system, but as soon as we take this, some weird shit's gonna happen. Eight years ago, Chief Science Officer Merritt Glover was stationed at this outpost. Weird, seeing as we just found it, barely managing to beam off the research station with the last personnel on the ground before an ionic disruption cut off transporter connection. The disruption field is finally abated for a few days, allowing the crew of the USS Van, Van Brand Von Braun to retrieve a wealth of scientific data left behind in the evacuation. As the away team searches for a computer terminal, they notice signs that someone has been living here. Merrick Glover detects signs on his tricorder and moves to investigate the signal. Suddenly, a voice cries out, and he dashes into the room, phaser at the ready, and comes upon a person who looks exactly like him. A few moments after shock, the person explains he was trapped on the research station after a failed transport attempt eight years ago. Beam him up to sickbay so we can validate these claims. The duplicate Merrick Glover's genes are confirmed to be an exact match. In addition, the brain patterns read is almost the same, suggesting they both have nearly identical memories. Don't think that's how that works. These facts rule out the possibility of him being a shapeshifter or a clone. The ship's engineers theorize that when the transporter was interrupted by the disruption field eight years ago, the pattern beam must have reflected a perfect copy of Merrick Lover back to the research station. The transporter duplicate had to retrofit the research station to survive for eight years on his own. Due to this, the station databanks are not easily accessible and require extensive repairs. I'll ask the duplicate to help fix the station. Merrick Glover's duplicate has a plan to fix the damage, but it involves delving into a structurally unstable section of the research base to link a power conduit back to the computer mainframe. They are unsure if it is as safe as he has been down there many times. Now, they are sure that it is safe, as he has been down there many times, but the ship's engineer... And they're saying he. Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, Merritt. Merritt Glover. No? Is that referring to a different leader of mine? Yeah, I suppose it doesn't matter. Um, they're sure it's safe, as he's been down there many times, but the ship's engineer has completed scans that show the structure is dangerous, dangerous and could collapse at any minute. Uh can't risk their life. The double kit, the double kit duplicate has spoken with Captain Fatima Ibrahim, bypassing 
is original and superior to get permission to carry out the dangerous plan against their judgment. If to do this, he'll have help. Thanks to cooperation between Merrick Glover and his duplicate, the pair were able to successfully repair the conduit after a close call with the dilapidated bridge. They were able to retrieve the required scientific equipment and once safely aboard the USS Von Braun, confirmed the integrity and value of the data. In light of his exemplary performance, Merrick Glover's duplicate was offered a position within the fleet reflecting his talents. Oh, no, see... Turn this back on, this back on, this back on. I have no need for energy. Please, make it go away. Now we got a new leader. Merrick Glover is cautious and a trickster, so that makes him much better than Beck. Goodbye, Beck. I'm, I'm sorry, but you gotta go. Hey, thanks for following. Omnimec. Hey! It's weird serendipitous moment that Moobot and Streamlabs gets a follower at the same time. I know <laughs> that's how things should work, but normally one is way faster than the other. I guess it's a good day. There we go. So we're going all the way back up here. I guess that's fine. Anomaly the inner light. Oh, love this one. Yeah, go ahead and research that. We've detected an alien vessel, which our preliminary scans cannot identify and won't identify. Uh, 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 uh. Prime is ready to be upgraded. You would assume with a population of presumably hundreds of billions, if not trillions, nah, we're not up to trillions, but hundreds of billions, that we would have full planets by now, but our people just keep moving around too much. Uh, I guess trill are what we should try to populate next. Them are benzonites. Who, where have I finished the colony? Oh, dope. So, if we complete Federation, what do we get? Reduces building costs by 10%. That's not very exciting. If we do Discovery, what do we get? Unity output is increased by 10%. That's very good. Diplomacy, our trust cap goes up 25. That's okay. Uh, discovery, research speed by 5%. That's nice-ish, but we're already pretty ahead of everyone else. Unlocks access to the unique Federation policy, which enables you to set the focus of Federation member worlds across the galaxy. Oh, that's good. Diplomatic quarters and humanitarian aid ship modules, pretty okay. Allows the sharing of ship construction designs with Federation members and council meetings. Shipyard build costs is decreased by 10% and ship upkeep is reduced by 5%. It's not bad. Survey speed increased by 50%. Diversity has a unity bonus. Yeah, I'm doing that. Embracing the beyond. Delegating command authority to local captains can increase the capabilities of our far-reaching survey vessels by allowing a degree of autonomy and trust to our captains. They are the initial explorers, ambassadors, and envoys of our society, tasked with embracing the galaxy beyond our frontiers. Gotta love that. And we're almost at the end of another hour. I'm going to keep streaming for at least a couple more hours tonight. But if you are watching on YouTube, once we reach the end of this month, I am going to put in a break here. In three, two, Initiating one. Communication. Which means there will be another video up tomorrow. You, you know the deal by now. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to comment, share, like, subscribe, all that silly shenanigans. Until then, toodaloo, take care. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.